Hello everyone, this is, you know who this is. I don't need to say my name every single time I make a new video, right? Uh, in this video, we're going to be tackling universalism and we're going to be looking into uh, specifically David Bentley Hart's version of universalism and where it goes wrong. So this is going to be a short and simple video and explanation of why it's wrong. Um, so the argument, well, there are multiple arguments, but I think the basic argument for universalism is basically is look we are subject to Adam's sin right we are subject to Adam's sin and that's why we were all damned but because Christ uh, is victorious on the cross uh, it overrides Adam's sin in the afterlife and we are thus universally recapitulated in Christ as certain fathers say they will use um, Saint Gregory of Nyssa to prove this point and because of this, um, you know, hell doesn't exist anymore. We're, we're all going to make it to heaven. The problem here is, well, there's multiple different issues. But I think the main issue is that David Bentley Hart doesn't understand how human will works and how, how recapitulation works. Yes, it is indeed correct. Um, we will agree that we're all going to be restored that human nature is going to be resurrected and restored but it's kind of a weird thing because i it feels like he's assuming that our human nature is is evil in that in that sense if you read the orthodox study bible even and if you read the church fathers the human nature is not evil right even bad people even evil people when we're talking of evil people we're not saying that they're evil by nature we're saying that they're evil by will. Will is very crucial in understanding this, and Saint Maximus knows why. Each human being has a different mode of their own personal modes of willing in their life. So why is this important? Well, because when we are restored and recapitulated in Christ, or uh, whether we whether we have well-being in the afterlife or ill being in the afterlife is going to be dependent on the way we used or will so we can read we can check out what joseph farrell says in around the first pages of uh, god history dialectic uh, he's talking about the first europe understanding redemption deification uh, uh, for while each and every human being is not only subject to death which is the natural consequence of adam's sin yes but is likewise subject to the natural consequence of Christ's resurrection of humanity. And so this is kind of where David Bentley Hart pushes in and says, I oh, see, universalism, universalism. All are, so to speak, irresistibly predestinated to be resurrected to eternal life or ever being. They have no choice in the matter. Oh, this is universalism. But that's ever being depending on their own personal modes of willing in this life well-being or ill-being will be in a state of ever well or ever ever ill-being the ever being the grace of god in christ's resurrection of human nature right so human nature is resurrected not or and the will and the well or ill being the person's own choice and so our natures are restored Right? The, nature, the human nature is restored, but they don't partake in theosis. They don't partake in theosis. They don't, go to he they don't go to heaven because they experience ever ill will because of how they use their ill will, how they use their will in their earthly life. And so this understanding of orthodox theology, the personal modes of willing, understanding what this means, understanding the consequences allows us to... Uh, avoid universalism this is a strict refutation theological refutation of universalism and to recap basically essentially um we are everyone's going to be universally recapitulated but the uh everyone's not going to make it to heaven basically everyone's going to be experiencing an infinite state of ever being but what they experience is going to be dependent on how they use their own free will Right. So if you use your free will in a good way, it's, you're going to experience heaven in ever well-being. So you're going to partake in theosis. You don't, 
well, off to Gehenna with you. And so, thank you all for watching. And this was kind of short, um, not very well prepared, but uh, I have a couple more videos coming real soon. I, I had a pretty busy, busy week. Uh, I had to deal with a lot of exams. Even now, I have to deal with exams. I have to deal with a lot of homey work. So, yeah, so we're going to have more videos coming soon relating to Orthodox theology. Thank you all for watching. God bless all of you.